Good afternoon. Or what is it? Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, y'all. Thanks for coming in for a video. It is definitely evening. It's definitely late. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, I just found a $5 jewelry jar. I cannot believe it. I just recorded some videos for you. I'm glad you're here. I hope you like looking at jewelry as much as I do because that's what we do a lot of here along with thrifting and other things that we may feel like doing. But we're always looking for treasures. We're always looking for bargains. We love beautiful things here. So that's where we spend our time here on this channel. I hope you enjoy that as well. And if you do, please take the time to subscribe today. The subscription is always free. And it's uh, got a subscription button right there on the right hand side of your screen. Hit that button. Don't forget to hit notifications for all videos because I do not have a set schedule. I just come on randomly. Sometimes it's the middle of the night. Sometimes it's uh, a decent hour, but uh, we are in somewhat of a quasi vacation right now. And mine's about to be over though. It's already the weekend, right? But Anyway, enjoyed it so far. It's been fabulous. And right now we're going to go dive into this jar or bag. We, I'm used to calling them jars, even though they come in bags occasionally. This one does not look that promising. I will tell you that much. But it was only $6, $5.99. So I'm just happy to have something to open with you guys. Thanks again for coming in. This one's already busting at the seams. It's been around been hanging around so long what could possibly be in it we don't really know I'm gonna say hi to a couple of people that drop in the chat I'm gonna try to keep it short and simple tonight because some people don't like long chatty videos so we're gonna try to be a little bit more concise and uh, looks like Sandra's here Becky how are you I'm glad you're well if you're here I hope you're well weather hi Carrie Having a break from writing a short crime story. Oh, awesome. Sanja, Melissa, Patty, Kent, Joni, and Bessie, as well as Kathy and Emily dropped in. All right, guys, you're the first ones here. Let's get started. Let's see what could possibly be in the $6 jar or $5.99. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, that's not bad. Look at that cuff. I don't know how I'm going to get that on, but that's interesting. So it looks like it's been squeezed. A bit. Oh, there it went on. Look at that. Not bad. Is that too close? I tried filming in a different kind of mode. So you will be getting some of that in a little while. Oh, I love this. That's a pretty bangle. It's got some... Um, some kind of tape or something. I think I can take that off pretty well. Yeah. This looks like a vintage piece. And I say that because it's heavy. A lot of times you see these little plastic bangles. And they're very lightweight. This one is nice and heavy. Thank you guys for hitting the thumbs up on the way in. I appreciate it. I love it. I love black and white. I really do. I was just admiring a roach over on Dawn's auction earlier. Oh my goodness, that's cute. It was black and white as well. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> uh, look at this. This one says um, Orchid Hawaii. Fairmont Orchid Hawaii. So I guess they give you these when you... <coughs> Excuse me when you check into the hotel how many of you guys have been to Hawaii I've never been I would be so scared to fly that far I don't know why I'm so scared about flying but I am especially over the ocean I remember flying to California and that was nerve-wracking but beautiful get another one hola solia Barbara's here as well. So we got three of these little souvenir things. And the bracelet too. I think these are from there usually. You've been there twice? Oh, how fun. Look at that. My son's been there a few times too. They, they like to travel though. Okay. Oh, look at this. Some kind of a crafter strand here. 
So we get to natural gallery traditions. These are 349. These look like they're very heavy. I don't know if these are the magnetic. These are not magnetic. So I'm not sure what kind of bead that is. But that's that's pretty cool. I guess I'll put that in my bead lock. 36 hours. I see I cannot imagine that. I cannot imagine staying in. I my nerves would just be unreal. Okay, this is kind of a rubbery Madonna 80s style bangle. It's rubber. What is this? This is cute. Still tag. Made in Korea. It's a cupcake. It's very heavy, actually. Enameled little cupcake. That's kind of pretty. Oh, that really is pretty. <laughs> Cute. I'll have to start another child's jar. And this is a little aquarium jewels, it says. Drugs and alcohol work well, and lots of walking to down the aisles. I can imagine. Oh, this is so pretty. I didn't expect this to be that pretty when I saw this. <laughs> it's a nice heavy enamel piece, too. It's the prettiest dolphin pendant I've seen in a while. I have not found dolphin pendants that I absolutely adore, but this one's nice. Very cute and colorful. Okay. And of course we have the requis requisite shells that come in almost every jewelry jar. I sure wish I was crafty. I would definitely make some wind chimes. I am crafty, very crafty. I just don't feel like crafting right now because I don't have the time. I wish I did have the time. That's what I wish. I wish I had the time to be crafty because these would be a nice thing to work with. As a matter of fact, I've given away a lot of shell jewelry in the past because people craft with them. Here's another little sliced up shell. Isn't that cute? Hey, Kirsten Red Resale, how are you? Guys, I got to shout out Christian there. Chris, Kirsten, I have to say that right, Kirsten. Red Resale has a really cool channel. I ran into her in my... Uh, feed. YouTube has been refreshing my feed and I'm very very happy about that. They've been suggesting a lot of different videos that are similar to ours with jewelry and, and resale and fashion and fun and she is delightful. She really is and I like your voice too Kirsten. You have a beautiful voice. So go check out her channel. Go subscribe to her and uh, she loves jewelry. So <laughs> That's the uh, litmus test here. Loving jewelry. And she's got a whole lot of nice jewelry. Look at that. These are interesting. They're like little grommets. They're like they're like little snapper grommets or something. Look at that. They're heavy too. They're kind of cool. Hey kitty. I think Crystal's here and Liz. Hi Liz. How are you, Liz? We're we getting ready for the Christmas bazaar. Christmas Bazaar is coming soon. Makeup Zombie and I, uh, we have fun with Christmas. <laughs> we pull a couple of Christmas things together. I'm going to try to get some Christmas jewelry. And not just the brooches, but, you know, like just some funky things. Maybe some vintage. Um, I love vintage Christmas decor. It's my thing. I just absolutely love it. So we'll try to pull together some of that for uh, an auction. I think it's going to be like a real live auction. And it's over on her channel, of course, because I don't do auctions here. But uh, we'll announce it later. It'll be fun. And then we'll have this. What is this? St. Patrick's Day. That's That comes later. But that'll be fun, right, Liz? I'm excited about it. Okay, then we got these. Liz, can you believe I got this bag for $6? $5.99. Lifetime guarantee on these? <laughs> When do you get a... I haven't seen a lifetime guarantee since Tupperware. I used to sell Tupperware. They had lifetime guarantees. Oh my goodness. Not bad. Thank you again for joining me. Oh, I did see some other flip-flops. Okay, we got some pink flip-flops with little shiny stones. 
Little shiny stones. They're enamel. They're cute. I'm into the flip-flop ever since I found that 18 karat gold flip-flop ring in a couple of jars ago, remember? I'm, I've been wearing it. It like, fits me. If it fits, you wear it. And these are... <laughs> These are Claire's. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. All right, let's see what's in the kindergarten teacher jewelry here. Look at this. We got Texas. Texas, Texas, Texas. <laughs> this would be cute on a tree. I should do a little Christmas tree Texas theme for my classroom. This would be cute. A little garland around it or something. Somebody put some work in here. We've got blue bonnets. We've got the armadillo. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this is called. What is this called? I think this is. It's kind of. It's kind of like the blue bonnet, but it's red. And I think they call it brush fire. No, something brush and fire. But I'm not sure. And it, they're always grow right next to the blue bonnets. They're beautiful, but they're red. And there's the yellow rose of Texas. Look at she signed it. And some cactus. Oh, how cute. A little prickly pear. And the big 10 gallon Stetson hat. The star. I love it. It's so cute. Hideous, but cute. I'll, I'll put it on the tree. We've got some white graduated. And see, I knew Becky would know. Becky, coming in with the Texas trivia. Indian paintbrush. Okay, well, I didn't say it didn't have red in it then, huh? Thank you, Becky. It's so pretty, isn't it, Becky? I love them. They're beautiful. I wish I had a big Texas spread so I could enjoy it, but I do enjoy it down the highways. More of these shells. The requisite shells. Again, this was a really, really inexpensive bag. Oh, for the artist. You've got uh, your palette, your easel, some tubes of, what is it, acrylics? <laughs> Cute though. Oh my goodness. This is the way they come, I guess, before they sell them from the rack. And then we've got some, oh, we got a plug with the watch. Oh, that's nice. Can I use it on my... No, I don't think this is for the iPhone. Looks a little thicker. Interesting. And uh, some kind of smartwatch or something. Not an, iPhone, not an iPhone. Or what's it called? iWatch? I don't know. I don't have one. I have enough disturbances with my regular phone. Can you imagine? I'm so addicted to my phone. If I had it on my wrist... I cannot even imagine. Touch LED watch. <laughs> I know. What's it called? The iPhone watch? <laughs> We've got some stretchy brown beads. I'm not expecting much. Oh, I like this. This is cool. Little polo 15 pink from Macy's. This is probably some of the stuff that the, um, no, I guess it was a giveaway from Ralph Lauren in, in honor of Pink Pony's 15th anniversary for, um, yeah, breast cancer awareness. That one's cool. I love that. That is really cool. I would put that on my little baseball cap or something. I like that. Okay, more Claire's. It's good for exercise. And you feel like Dick Tracy. Yeah. And they're, some of them are very pretty. I love the fancy bands on them. These are, um, these are darling. <laughs> they're teeny little Bambi reindeers or something. Look how pretty. They're from Claire's. I think they had another set that's missing. Lots of kitty jewelry in here. Here's some pink jewelry. I don't know. I think someone made this. Little pink stones. Acrylic. Definitely a kid's lot, I think, in here. St 
scratchy, green, cool. Uh, what is this? What is this? I like these beads for something else. I don't like them on here. I kind of like them for earrings. I love that Hawaiian flowery print there. And this is by, I don't know, True, 36 inches long. Just some fashion jewelry. I do like these beads. I think I'm going to put this in a crafter lot. Five dollars, I know. Look at this, a little bangle. They're little acrylic rhinestones. Hey Gina, how are you? Oh, I got a big giant torque. Oh my gosh, this one's nice. I've been watching this girl, I forgot her name. I tell you, I've been getting some really interesting uh, suggested videos. And boy, she wears some bold jewelry and it looks so nice. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Look at that. It even kind of graduates this way as well as in the entire length. Look at that. And it's in good condition. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know. Torques are timeless, aren't they? They really are. Hi, Melly's. Is it Wellies or Melly's Jewelry Box? Do you have a channel too? Let us know if you have channel. If you guys have channels, because like I said, I have been getting some suggested videos, but it's interesting how, like, I didn't know. Who was it the other day? I didn't know they had, but they were making videos. And then I see them in other chats, but I, I don't know that they actually make videos too. And I love watching new people that. that that start channels. It's fabulous. Okay, these are some bangles. They're plastic. Both of them are plastic. Truly plastic. See, this is why I said that other black and white one was so cool and heavy because this one feels like I'm lifting a thread. And that other black and white, that first one was heavy. I wouldn't doubt it if it's a, a vintage one. Another cut up shell. You change your YouTube name, start paying down your collection. Oh, you to start paring down your collection. Oh, okay. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday as well. Gosh, I ate too much. I, and, I, and I really didn't even finish what was on my plate, but I just felt like immediately like it was just too much, too much going on. <laughs> too many things on the plate. <laughs> And it was just a traditional dressing and turkey and gravy and cranberry sauce and yams. Normally I would have had other things like mashed potatoes and, you know, I left some things off. I like this. I really do. I like a nice piece of white jewelry. Something very simple and yet kind of stunning about this. I like it. Do you guys like white jewelry? You know what else I like in white? I love white bags and light colored bags like cream handbags. But then I'm so deathly afraid of wearing them, but I just love them. This is just a piece of nothing, a little sequence. It's very intriguing though because they're kind of cut like little flowers. And maybe that's why I compensate and wear white jewelry instead of white handbags. But I do love white handbags. I just, I'm, I'm so scared to wear them. But I keep buying them and then I return them. Oh, we got a nice little honker here. Look at that. And it's not even adjustable. It's a nice heavy one. I don't think there's anything missing. Some kind of flower. That's just a little silver tone piece. Not bad. That's cute. 
Liz, you did not eat the pie till 3 a.m., huh? You don't sleep, that's why, right? Oh my gosh, well you don't sleep because you're eating at 3 a.m. They say you should go to sleep before you get hungry. <laughs> all right, we got some more bangles. And they're all silver tone, one gold tone. And oh, they got the little beads in there and things. I know. Gina. I know the post is unbelievable it's like they just don't care they're like what who cares they can get they'll get it sooner or later they used to be very efficient they're not anymore they just don't care yeah it's a nice little stack they're not in bad they're not in bad condition at all again five dollars you cannot beat this at all uh we've got some neon orange again I'm gonna make a child's lot with this this will be a great children's jewelry lot lots of children's things were in there but this ring is cool i love that that's really pretty it's interesting how they made these diamonds not diamonds <laughs> these rhinestones look almost like diamonds because they're not like super super sparkly yet these are super super sparkly around it so it almost looks like it's the real deal there can you see that it's kind of interesting how they did that all right, we got some more bead treasures. This is Czech glass beads. So that was nice. We got a couple of these. Here's the other one. The little hematite one was in there too. And then I got a bag of goodies here. And some more cut shells. These are heavy. I cannot do heavy earrings. They're so pretty though. Make a cute ring. Okay. And we've got a cross here, just a little lightweight silver tone. And okay, these are button covers. People are crafting with these too. These are cool. Some of these are often, I don't know about the, the covers, but I know people have sold these in auctions and they've turned out to be well they know that they're what they're selling they're silver lots of these and they look great with your little bolero jackets and things but these yeah this these are cool i would not put it would mind putting these on a denim shirt i like them they've got the nice little native american symbol there Ready. Very cool. And a cactus. Um, this is um, an enhancer. These are cool to have too with those strands that are not quite long enough to go over your head twice and they may not have a clasp. Sometimes this will help. I'd probably spray paint this though because it's losing a lot of color. I'm, I'm really liking these. I am going to go find me a denim shirt because I think I sold all of mine. Not sold them, I donated them. I have a thing about shirts. They, they don't fit me right. They're always popping. I, I never buy the right size. They're always popping at the you know where. But I keep buying them. I keep hoping. Hope springs eternal that they will one day fit nicely. These are beautiful beads. We've got quite a few of these. So I'll probably put that in my bead locks that I occasionally sell and things like that. And um, wow, that appears to be it. I was hoping to do my pearl, my pearl show. Be sure and tune into the pearl show. It's going to be important. And I will very likely um, do it tomorrow sometime tomorrow i had to cancel i didn't have to but i wanted to cancel my auction for tomorrow on facebook so i'm sorry i won't be out there tomorrow i'm going to enjoy my grandson and uh, just lounge around play maybe take in a movie and just enjoy the entire day with him because that's what i want to do <laughs> that's what i want to do the holidays go quickly that my time off goes quickly and uh, they grow too quickly so enjoy the rest of your time 
if you're enjoying your holiday and had a week off or anything like that, be safe. And uh, I will talk to you next time. Very nice talking to you today. Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.